Okay, so I think I found a way to prove that it is actually density. So let's say we have a mass of 100 kilograms and a mass of 200 kilograms, and they're in a medium of 7 kilograms meters cubed. Okay, that's the medium's density, 7 kilograms meters cubed. Can you tell me, based on the mass alone, whether these will go up or down? Which Will this mass go up or down? Will this mass go up or down? Can you tell me that? Because, you know, mass attracts mass. You've got the medium's density. You've got the medium that it's in. That's the medium's density. So now can you tell me whether this mass, mass 1, with 100 kilograms, will go up or down? Or mass 2, with 200 kilograms, will go up or down? You can't, can you? So now if I tell you that the 100 kilogram mass has a volume, so 100 kilogram mass has a volume of 10 meters cubed, and the 200 kilogram mass has a volume of 50 meters cubed. Now can you tell me which one's going to go up and down? So now we can do the mass divided by the volume. So we can do 100 kg divided by the volume, 10 meters cubed, equals 10 kg m3. And then if we have a mass of 200 kilograms and a volume of 50 meters cubed, that gives us 4 kg m3. So now, by doing the mass divided by the volume and finding out the density, can you now tell me whether it will rise or fall? Yeah, so obviously the 100 kilogram, the smaller mass, because it's 10 kilogram and the medium is 7 kilogram meters cubed, and this is 10 kilogram meters cubed, so obviously the 100 kilogram will fall because it's more dense. And the 200 kilogram is only 4 kg m3, so it's less dense than the medium, so it will rise. So even though we have a bigger mass, the bigger mass is rising and the smaller mass is falling. Because relative to the medium, one is more dense and one is less dense. So you can't, you can't tell me based on the mass alone and the medium that it's in whether it will go up or down. You need to know the density, you need to know the volume in order to know whether it's going to go up or down. Mass alone cannot tell you that. That's how we know it's relative density and not mass. If I give you the mass without the volume, you cannot determine whether that object will rise or fall. You know what I mean? So therefore, we need to know its volume in order to get its density to know whether it will rise or fall. So mass alone cannot tell you whether something will rise or fall. We need the density and the medium's density to be able to tell whether it will rise or fall. Again, proving relative density and proving a mass cannot tell you alone without knowing its volume, without knowing its density, whether it's going to rise or fall. So yeah, again, relative density proven. Um, take care and stay safe.